Hello and welcome to the new Halo Business System whiteboard series. My name is Ryan Scapp. I'm the president of Halo Business Systems and I've trained thousands of people worldwide in Salesforce.com administration and development. Today I'd like to give you a brief understanding of Salesforce relationships using a whiteboard technique that I've developed. And some of my clients preparing for the Salesforce.com admin exam have issues with the concepts related to relationships. And like I said, I've come up with some drawings that emulate the schema builder that people can use to understand these concepts. The repetition and tactile action of drawing these can really help clarify this integral functionality. So let's take a look at the techniques on this whiteboard and please follow along with drawings of your own if you can. I find that plain white printer paper works great for this exercise. Okay, so let's talk about lookup relationships. Lookup relationships require two objects to be in place and they create what's called a parent-child relationship. Parent-child meaning one to many. The lookup field goes on the child object and this is usually shown in schema with the little octopus facing the object of interest, in this case the child object. So it's a one to many relationship. A lookup relationship is also what's known as a loose relationship. Loose meaning that each individual record is going to have its own individual ownership field. So there'll be an owner on the parent and there'll also be an owner on the child. So security and access is controlled by the owner of each individual record. A loose relationship also means that if I delete the parent then the child will be what's called orphaned. This means that the child record will still exist if the parent is deleted. I can pull information through calculation or just pull text using what's known as a cross object formula. The formula field for the cross object formula always goes on the child object because that's where the information is being pulled to. I cannot, however, pull information or calculate from the child back to the parent. This is not allowed. I'll go ahead and erase the board here and I'll do this again and this time if you want go ahead and follow along with me. So a lookup relationship in Salesforce is what's known as a parent-child relationship. Parent-child relationship is a one-to-many relationship and the lookup field always goes on the child object. A lookup relationship is what's known as a loose relationship. Loose relationship meaning that there is an owner field on each individual record. So there'll be an owner on the parent and an owner on the child. This means that if I delete the parent, the child will then be called orphaned or it will still exist without the parent record associated with it. I can pull information using a cross object formula field on the child object and I can do calculation or pull text information. I cannot, however, pull information from the child back to the parent. This is not allowed with a lookup relationship. Next, I'd like to discuss master detail relationships. Master detail relationships are also a parent-child relationship, but I like to call them master and detail in my own mind just to kind of keep it in my mind as I move forward. That way if I'm talking about master detail, I'm not getting it confused with a lookup relationship through parent-child. But it is parent-child, and that means it's a one-to-many relationship, just like the lookup relationship. It also means that the field still goes on the detail. Master detail relationships are what are known as strong relationships. This means that only the master record will have an ownership field. So if I were to go and delete the master, then the detail would also be deleted. This is what's known as cascading delete. I can still pull information from the master of the detail using a cross object formula. However, I also have another field available with a master detail relationship, meaning that I can use what's called a roll up summary field on the master object and that roll up summary allows me to do one of four things. I can count, I can sum, 
I can min, and I can max. I'll do this one one more time if you'd like to join along with me and draw this as we go. A master detail relationship involves a master and a detail, meaning a one to many. The field always goes on the detail and master detail relationships are a strong relationship, meaning that the owner of the master record will control security in regards to the detail record. There is no ownership field on the detail record. This also means if I delete the master, then the detail will also be deleted in what's known as cascading. I can pull information from the master to the detail using a cross object formula, and I can use a roll up summary field, and I can count, sum, min, or max. So often the question I get when we're talking about lookup and master detail relationships, and I'll just draw the lookup over here real quickly. What are the things that we can do with master detail that we can't do with a lookup relationship? Well, if you draw these side by side, what you'll find is there's very distinct differences here. Security is one, so security is going to be controlled by the owner of each record in a lookup relationship, whereas with master detail, there's only one ownership field. This also means that if I delete the parent, the child will still exist, where in a master detail, the detail record is automatically deleted with that cascading delete functionality. The other thing that I can do with a master detail I cannot do with a lookup is the roll-up summary. This is not allowed. So what are the reasons to use a master detail over a lookup? It's the roll-up summary and cascading delete. So what I would recommend is that you practice these, do master detail and then look up and then vice versa and just get it down in your mind what you can and can't do with each. This will help you when you're actually building and developing applications in platform and hopefully this also helps those of us that are looking to get certified in admin or app builder certifications. So once again, this is Ryan Scapp with Halo Business Systems Whiteboard, uh, and I hope you'll stick with us for this series moving forward. Thanks a bunch and have a great day.